Paying tribute to the late singer Jimmy Buffett right here in South Florida, the man who gave us Margaritaville, honored at the place he once called home. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is in Key West with more on the touching tribute that they held in paradise. This procession was absolutely incredible. We were not sure how many people were going to show up considering it was organized at the last minute, but hundreds took to the streets. It's 5 o'clock. Where are we at? We want to show our love to the family and the whole world's watching Key West. A procession down Duval Street to honor Jimmy Buffett, known by some as the Pirate Laureate of the Florida Keys, who protected that flag back. When he sang those songs, he was singing to us, which is absolutely magnificent. It gave us permission to be us. The procession making its way down Duval Street. So many locals are in tow, but check it out. A lot of tourists and bystanders, they are here to witness it all. All the people here today he's touched, just like he's touched people all over the world. Watch the men. Fellow crooner Kenny Chesney is here for the occasion. Before the parade, he strummed a rendition of A Pirate Looks at 40 on the beach as a tribute. We also spoke to Buffett's first friends in Key West when he arrived here in the early 70s. He rented um, the apartment right next door to me, and so that's where you, you see the on the A1A album. Jimmy moved in over top of me. And uh, we were right on the beach. Some people claim that this island town made an impression on the Mississippi born singer, and signs of him are everywhere. A memorial at his recording studio by the water, toasts on his behalf at the chart room, where he played some of his earliest songs. We've learned Buffett was dealing with Merkel cell skin cancer for the last four years. This fishing friend who lives in Sugarloaf Key says he last saw him in June. He was doing pretty good, you know. We, he was working on the new album and very excited about it and, and uh, played some songs from it. Jimmy Buffett died Friday night surrounded by loved ones. Jimmy is Key West and he is the Florida Keys. Margaritaville is here and everywhere because of Jimmy Buffett. We're mourning but we don't get sad. Jimmy Buffett leaves behind a wife and children and a Keys community who says they will keep his spirit alive. We're in Key West. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. A Florida Democratic chair, Nikki Frieda, calling on the governor to lower all flags to have staff to commemorate the passing of Buffett, who she calls a true Florida icon.